Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can link your phone to Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra. Now, if you have Galaxy smartphone, then you can pretty much pair it completely with your tablet. And in order to do that, you can use such app as the Flow, this is the Samsung Flow app. Once you open it, you can choose to connect it to phone. And then you can search for available devices. Now, of course, you will need to also have this app on your Galaxy smartphone in order to be able to detect it over here and then link these two devices together. Now, unfortunately, this works only for Galaxy smartphones. And if you have any other Android or iOS, then you cannot really pair it like that. However, of course, this doesn't mean that we cannot do really anything about it. Uh, this depends on what you actually want to do with your phone or how you want to or why you want to pair these two devices together. Oh, and of course, I forgot to mention, if you don't have Samsung Flow app on your Galaxy smartphone, then you will need to download it, for instance, from the Play Store on your device. So if you want to, for instance, pair with your phone in order to transfer files, then you can actually use something else. Uh, still in Samsung folder, we can find, for instance, Smart Switch in order to transfer data. So if you want to move pictures, images, videos, sometimes even apps, or music and documents and so on and so forth, then you can transfer from the smartphone to the tablet by using receive data over here. And this works with every, pretty much every app, uh, sorry, not every app, but with pretty much every device, uh, any Android or iOS, it works uh, regardless. However, if you want to send something from the tablet to your smartphone, then in this case, it doesn't really work with any uh, smartphone. It doesn't work with any Android or, um, or iOS. It works with, of course, Galaxy smartphones, so you can do that. Uh, but if you have any other Android or if you have iOS, then in this case, you have to use another third-party app, uh, which, of course, is not uh, installed by default. This is, like I said, the third-party app, not official one. And in, actually, you can use nearly every app that does the job of sending files between devices. In my case, I can recommend, for instance, Send Anywhere. This is the app that I have that I have been using quite a bit, and I think it does the job pretty well. And there are no issues at all with uh, transferring the transferring files, pretty much. So we can select what we want to send, or if you want to receive, then of course you can do that as well. So you can use that. Now, of course, there is also a way to uh, pair your device with the tablet in order to see messages. So if you open messages by Google, in this case, I'm going to use Google. Of course, there are, there's also the messages app made by Samsung, which we can find in the Samsung folder, this one over here. And in this case, I suppose, as I don't really have Galaxy device by myself, uh, it is also possible to uh, pair your Galaxy smartphone with the Galaxy tablet. Uh, however, unfortunately, I can't really show you that, but it also works with the Google Messages app, so you can use that instead. So once you see the welcome message over here, you can either use the QR code in order to pair the uh, account, or you can continue with the selected Google account, and then you have the option to pair with your phone. Now, keep in mind that you will have to select the same emoji that you will see on your on your Android. And in addition to that, uh, you will also need to pretty much sign into the same uh, Google, Google account on your Android smartphone. So in the top right corner, you will see the avatar. Uh, you will need to press it, make sure that you are signed into the same account. And in addition to that, if there are any issues, then you can also use the button that is called uh, device pairing or something similar to that. And uh, once you press on the avatar and you should have no issues with uh, pairing. So um, at least in the case of the QR code. So this is how we can um, pretty much pair the phone with the tablet. These are all the main ways that allow you to transfer data or synchronize messages or just connect them in some sort of way if you have Galaxy smartphone. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.